I am currently waiting for the sun to go down a little bit and for it to cool off a tiny bit before I go outside and pull up my garlic this evening. So I thought while I'm waiting, I might as well film a couple of quick videos. So uh, time for a quick Friday Reads update on what I'm currently reading and a reminder, I'm going to be very busy this weekend. <laughs> On Saturday, uh, the BookTube SFF Awards live show is happening at 3 p.m. Central Time. I will leave all the information down below, but it will be on Sam's channel, Thoughts on Tomes, and you can join us as we reveal the winners of each of the categories and the judges' picks. It'll be a fine time all around. Uh, I have, like I said, things to do this weekend. I've actually been very busy most of this week, and you may watch me slowly crash in this video because I've been going, going, going all day and now it's like everything's shutting down. <laughs> I feel like I need to take a nap. Um, but this weekend I've got a slew of stuff to get done, including a lot of garden work after I pull up my garlic. I have to weed and then plant green beans and water. And it's gonna be in the 90s every single day for I don't know how long. Um, but in and around all of that, I do plan on getting some reading done. So currently my main read is finally Ancestral Night by Elizabeth Bear. I'm enjoying the heck out of this novel, by the way. I mean, the fact that it's taken me so long to start it and then it's taken me so long to get um, 104 pages into it is not a comment on the quality of the book. It's just I know I'm going to like it and it's quite easy for me to start and stop reading it so I'm kind of reading it around other things but I always enjoy it when I come back to this but I do need to finally settle down and pay attention to it because I feel like the plot is getting kind of intricate and I need to focus a bit more. The other two things that I have just barely started reading are The Empress of Forever by Max Gladstone. This book is described as a feminist Guardians of the Galaxy novel, which, you know, it's one of my anticipated books of the year. And so far, the very beginning of it went from, mm, this seems cliche to being like, wow, okay, this is not what I thought it was going to be. So I'm pleasantly surprised. And the other thing is The Thrilling Adventures of Lovelace and Babbage by Sydney Padua. This is a graphic novel, though it has a lot of text in it so far. Um, kind of an alternate universe take on what Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage would have gotten up to if he had actually finished his analytical engine and she hadn't died young, etc. So I'm really enjoying the artwork in it right now, haven't gotten that far into the actual tales of the adventures. And if I feel like picking up another book, I will probably start Life Load by Joe Walton. This is one of the books that's been sitting unread on my shelves for the longest. I think I've had this for more than four years. And it's bizarre to me that I've had an unread Joe Walton novel for this long because I usually read her books very quickly. Um, I think I actually tried reading this years ago and for some reason it got pushed aside while I went off and read other things. So there's that. And now I'm going to go film my TBR for the reading rush. I actually wasn't planning on doing the reading rush this year, it was formerly known as Booktubeathon. And then I saw everybody's TBRs popping up in my subscription feed and I thought, well, I might as well because I like doing the challenges, so. <laughs> that TBR will be out eventually. So let me know what you are up to this weekend. Are you reading? Are you gardening in this abysmal heat? <laughs> let me know. I'll be back soon to talk to you some more, and until then, 